What's been going on YouTube? OxBats here. And today I'm going to bring you a special treat to you, my um, subscribers and my viewers. Um, this is going to be like a quality of um, how do I make my videos sort of thing. Um, you can tweak a little with it. You can play along with, I don't know, whatever. But this is usually the way I do it. So first off, you're going to open up your um, Vegas Pro or whatever. Yeah, it has to be Vegas Pro because this is the one I use. And uh, go into Project Media tab, click it. Click the search whatever and for sake of stuff I'm using let's see okay I'm gonna use my sweep one here it is sweep let it load you can drag it down if you're not gonna use audio as I'm as I don't use audio so delete a track oh one thing I forgot to mention before like doing all this go into new like okay let's do it again Oh no. This should pop up. You should click this. Okay, dudes from Skype, like one one second. I'm making a video. You should scroll down to the first one that says HD seven twenty thirty P this one. Click that one. So make sure you have exactly the way I have it. You can tweak a little with it, like this has to be this is supposed to be an eight bit output in thirty four. I mean thirty thirty two. This was in draft and I put it, no this wasn't good and I put it in best this was, I don't know and for the sake of not doing this for every project like click this little tab, well, this little button right here and click OK when that is done, go into project media, load it let's find the sweep one here it is drag it down and if you're not using audio as I am not using the audio uh, you can right click that shit okay can right click it delete a track once this track is deleted you want to um, left click I mean right click this and click on properties and you see the little black like slides you see right here we're gonna make that go away because you don't want that looks on pro so you uncheck the maintain aspect ratio and when you click OK the, the image stretches and there you go um, you might notice that this match is actually like nine minutes long or something. And if you want to speed it up, you just hold control. You see, you see, you see the little um scroll. You see the 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 mouse. You look at it. Look how it changes. It changes to a wiggly line. You you hold control, and you drag this. And those um zigzaggy lines means that you're speeding it up. So for the sake of this, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in speed here. And uh, since I'm not gonna render a full match, I'm going to crop it like this like a minute so once it's cropped and what shit you need to highlight it and then go to video effects color corrector and choose studio RGB to computer RGB click on it and drag it down um some people just apply this one because it looks kinda good it looks good with this thing only but um, for me, let's see. I don't know how to take this away. So, for me, I sometimes I always use the is this one. I saved my HD one. So look the changes. Look, this is the original one. This is mine. So I think it kind of looks better. You can like write these down like the same way I have. So this is the most important one because it gives them the like illumination and stuff. So once that is done. You can add color curves, reset to none, drag it down, and you can tweak a little with it. I don't use them anymore, so I'm not going to use them. Um, the most important thing, I guess, is the sharpen. Click on the sharpen. The light one always works, but I actually have my HD one, which is 200, which is which is 50 less than the light one. I know, I know. Look at look at the difference. You might not see it, like, but I do see it when I'm because I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. So once you add your all your things, I also add to mine the border. The one I use is solid white border, but since I have a pr uh, a preset, I just drag the HD one, and it magically appears as I put it. So I'm gonna put it like that. So now the video has all the effects, and you're gonna click the play button just to see. Um, how it runs it may be it won't run at full 100% because um, the images like take a long to like load 
but once it keeps going, and since I'm recording, it's not going to run like 100%. So I'm just like waiting just to see what, I mean, how the match looks. And as you can see, the match looks pretty good. When you render it, it looks even awesome. It looks even better. So what you're going to do is stop that, close a file, and go to render as. Click that. This should appear. You can rename it. And what you're going to want to do is click on this save type as and scroll down into Sony AVC side dash MVC. Click on that. And in the template, click custom. I have my HD template, but you can scroll down and you can choose. Um, what you want to do is on um, one sec. Uh, internet. This one. Internet. Uh, 1080p or whatever shit click on that one and make sure this is like that baseline I changed a little uh, mine a little bit so it's like this so you can copy the exact same thing I did I don't include the audio oh no include audio I don't include audio I don't include audio because I don't use it and make sure to check this project and click on best always choose the best video here it is everything make sure this thing is in this thing KO whatever and this is an automatic so click OK and save it um, I'll get back to you guys when this thing finishes and the video just it finished recording um, I'm, I'm so much of an idiot that I click the open tab right when it finished um, rendering but when it's done, it should be like a hundred percent, and then three buttons. The ones close, open, and folder, and open. You're gonna click on open and folder or open, and it's gonna take you to the video where you saved it. I suggest you to go to like open and folder because then you can know where you saved it. So when you're done, like don't close this just yet. Just make sure that the video is um, exactly the way you want it. So you wanna um, close that. Now find your video. I actually have a Sony Vegas directed um, thing, so I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna be like a big, big ass screen, so you're gonna like crop it down a little bit, like that. And as you can see, the video looks pretty awesome. It looks pretty good. Um, you can tweak a little bit with the with the coloring or not. If you don't want to, I don't freaking care. So when you um, see whatever you want to see in the video. You're going to want to proceed to narrating, but the narrating, it's really up to you because I'm just here to show you how to work with Sony Vegas and how to get like the optimum quality in a Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Well, not the optimum, like the like a really decent HD looking um sort of video. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. Um, it would really help if you like the video. Like, I wish, I just wish each and every single um, Wi-Fi battler out there that has that has been having trouble with the with the um, quality of their videos I wish they all got a chance to see this if this really helped you um, please give uh, click the like button I'm gonna put link in the like in the video like it should be around a corner or something um, to please subscribe to my channel I, ha I upload um, a lot and I'll upload frequently as you guys might already know so, um, yeah, I think that's all. Is it all? Yeah, yeah, it's all. So, this is OXBATS out, and this is like a little present from me to you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, goodbye.